It's actually about getting back in tune with your own natural rhythms, you know? Which is, first of all, it's good to be in a calm space when, <coughs> when we're massaging other people, because then we can bring them into more of our calm space. All right? But second of all, if we understand this from our perspective, then we can help them get into this frame of mind. Right? So I'll just get you all to get comfortable once everybody's here. You can sit, you can lie on a massage table. So with this exercise, I also want you to understand the breath as a, like a vacuum cleaner, basically sucking up, sucking the bad energy out of your body. So you can close your eyes, and I want you to bring your awareness down, down to your dantian, which is just below your belly button, like an inch or two or a few centimeters, and feel your breath going into your lower belly. Feel free to make any noise on the out breath. You can burp, you can sigh, you can just you know, moan, whatever. Just keep that uh, breath going into your belly. So filling it up with that nice fresh air off the river, <coughs> pollution from the city, uh, the fresh air mostly. Actually feels quite fresh here, considering. You just keep your awareness on your belly, on the Dantian breathing. Oh. Now I want you to become aware of your toes. So Feel your toes. You can wriggle them around if you want and feel the joints. Feel any residual tension that you're holding there and feel any tightness, any congestion, any bad energy, any dark energy, anything stifling your true life force. Breathe into it and consciously send that message, let go. Oh. And with your out breath, breathe that energy out that's stagnating you there. Then come in, bring your awareness to the balls of your feet. Again, feel any tightness, any tension that you're holding there. Bring your awareness to it. Send that message. Let go. Let go. Don't hold on anymore. And use that Dantian breathing, the deep belly breathing, to just let it go. Shake 
however the energy is going to come out, just let it out. So feel any tension you're holding in the arch. You can wriggle it around if you want. And then up into your heels. Your ankles, move your ankles around. Then <sighs> your shins and your calves. your hips, and your buttocks. Consciously relax that area. You can do a little twist if you want. Oh. And then bringing your awareness up to your back, into your lower back area, your sciatic area. Kidneys, bottom of your spine. It's like doing a little x ray in a sense, but you're more feeling the, the life energy, the chi, where the blood flow, where are you holding self awareness here, bodily awareness, a mixture of your chi, your blood, your body. Oh. Up into your lower abdomen, your bladder, your reproductive organs. Bringing your awareness into your intestines. So we have involuntary muscles in our small and large intestine that are working away. They can definitely get affected by stress and tension. So take a deep breath in and just send that message to your small and large intestine to relax. Relax. Come back to a state of looseness. That's what relax means. Let go of tension. Just let it go out with the breath. Sorry.
and now up into your liver, your spleen, all your digestive organs, gallbladder, pancreas. Women, your your womb. Just consciously relax the entire area. Oh. Let it go on the out breath. Now up into the middle of your back. Spine between the middle back and lower back. And the muscles at the bottom of your rib cage, so the diaphragm. Just sense any tension that you're holding there and just let it go. And now into the intercostal muscles in between your ribs. Just make sure you're not holding tension there that's restricting your breathing. A lot of cases of asthma. There's a lot of tension that's just restricting people's breathing, so just consciously let it go. We can hold grief around our lungs. <sighs> around our physical heart, which is on our left side mostly. Feel the pumping of the heart. <clears throat> heart is a muscle. And again, just send that message to your heart to Relax, do its job, and without any stress, okay? And in the energy center of the heart, in the Shashunga, the heart chakra. Oh. area to the heart chakra. See if you're holding any tension there. Oh. Now become aware of your fingers and thumbs. All the joints in your fingers, you can wriggle them around a bit. You can rotate your wrists. Your forearms. You can shake them if you want. Your elbows. You can move them around. Oh. Your biceps and triceps, the muscles of the upper arms. Just let them go. Shoulders around, back and forth, up and down a bit. 
Feel any tension that you're holding there? Oh. Mm. Above your shoulders and in the back area. Back of your neck, side of your neck. You can rotate your neck. Yeah, just become aware. Are you holding any tension in any of the bands that are coming up into your neck? If so, breathe in, let that tension go. in your scalp. You can even do a bit of self-massage on your scalp if you want. Just let go of any of that electrical tension. Now your ears. And your forehead. The muscles of your forehead. Are you frowning? Are you holding lines in the third eye area? Let them go. sinuses, into your jaw, become aware of any jaw tension. Most of us are holding quite a bit of jaw tension. Oh, if so, why are you holding it? What's going on there? Now around your eyes, the little muscles that move your eyes. Spheres of your brain. See if there's any electrical activity or unwanted thoughts or dark energies. Oh. Now come deeper into your brain, the, uh, the medulla oblongata and the palms and the brain stem. So the deeper parts of your brain, near where your brain's meeting your spinal cord. Oh. Become aware of the point in your skull where the three bones of your skull meet, which is where the crown chakra is in Ayurveda. It's an area we don't massage in babies up to the age of 15 months because you could, there's still a hole there. Are you holding any tension there? Then become aware of the entire spinal cord and brain right up to your crown chakra. Are you holding any tension 
on this central energy channel, the Shoshona, but we can call it whatever we want. That's just the Ayurveda or Sanskrit name. But right from the base of your spine, just feel all the way up through the middle of your brain, right to your crown chakra, and the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, all the base areas. Oh, just let go of any tension, anxiety, stress, bad energy, whatever the fuck it is, just let it go. Again, all the while maintaining that Dantian breathing, the breathing deep into your belly button. Oh, that's our garbage disposal unit. And then our awareness of where it needs to be let go. Now bring your awareness back to both your feet and your legs. Feel the connection between your feet, your toes, your legs. Feel if the energy circuits there are open, the life energy circuits, the chi, the radiance, the nadis, the channels, whatever you want to call them. Just feel that light or that life energy pulsating through along with the blood from your feet all the way up into your hips. Anywhere you feel a blockage, see what you can do to remove it, whether it be some shaking, awareness, uh, breathing, self-massage. Oh! Now feel your entire body from your hands, through your arms, into your shoulders, chest, abdomen, with, with your feet, your legs, just your head. Feel the circulation of the chi and the blood and you underneath it all. You the observer. observer of the mind, the observer of the body. Get rid of anything that's not you. Any shit that you've been carrying, any false ideas, any crap, how you should be. Oh. Just feel that energy moving through your entire body. Anywhere where you feel a blockage, do what you can with your breath and your awareness to breathe into it until you can feel that full movement of chi and life force, or chi life force, blood going through your entire body and your joints should be nice and loose. No stiffness in the joints. Move them around. And just internally use the breath like a pinpointed vacuum cleaner. <coughs> Awareness is like a laser beam that breaks up shit off the crusty side of a toilet bowl and your breath cleans it out like the flushing of a bowl. I hope you like that analogy. <laughs> Goes along with a glorified sewage worker analogy, right? <laughs> Toilet bowl cleaner. Mm. 
Feel your heart, feel your heart chakra, feel your throat, your third eye, your crown chakra. <sighs> your solar plexus, your base chakra. Your grounding in your legs, your connection with the earth through your toes and your feet. Feel your hands. <sighs> and let go of anything. It's not you, not the real person. Just coming back to that pure life force. Gradually bringing your awareness back to the room. You may feel some buzzing, some tingling, you may not. It doesn't matter. How's everybody feeling? Good. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah.